water down there. Come on. I love this. Yeah, the water is on yeah, the, the water is so only on this side of the house. Looks on like that made side. It. Uh, mother oh, always had a yeah. a shell that you put it up to your ear and it was just like water. Yeah, right. I remember that. The you basement remember that? Only I remember under that. This I used to listen house. to that thing every time I went there. Yeah. Here in the ocean. There. I think everybody <laughs> did. You know that? What's that? That shell that Ma had. It was round. Mm -hmm. And he said that when they were kids, they used to go there I remember too. Remember that? Listen to that. And they listened to that. Held it up to the ear. Up to your ear. Jerry was saying she ought to remember uh, Grandma's white cat that she had in her living room. Her cat? Uh-huh. A live cat? Or no, a ceramic cat. Oh, ceramic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who has that now? I don't know. That white ceramic cat. I remember that cat. I kind of do too, but I... thing I remember about Grandma's um, house is those... Um, they were like columns. Yeah. Between the kitchen and the and dining the room. or the dining room and the living room, and then yeah. she had all her glass dishes in those shelves. Yeah. And then you would have uh, coffee, coffee, and and uh, pie or those big yeah. apples. Oh, she yeah. always had something good. Cookies. <laughs> yeah. How often did you stay with Grandma? Oh, uh, there was a couple of times when me and Mom went there for like a week at a time in the summer. Uh -huh. Do you remember when you and I stayed with Grandma for uh, two weeks? No. And she put us out on the porch because we made too much noise. <laughs> we stayed in the bedroom next to her bedroom and we made so much noise she said we could sleep on the porch and talk all night if we wanted. <laughs> well, we must have been pretty young then. We were. Um, I was probably nine or ten and you were probably eight. Uh, do you remember, I don't suppose you do, when, when Dad died? See? Their kitchen, when you'd come in, you'd come up and it was just a little jot, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the other way, you came in the sun porch and then you had to go in like this. And when Dad died, they couldn't have the casket in the house. They had to have it in the porch. Your dad? My dad. My I got a picture of uh, that I think it's in this one. I got a casket out from the house. I was wondering if that was Grandpa's. Oh, yeah. It was See, in the porch. It was in the porch. Hmm. They had to have him in the porch because they couldn't bring him in the house. He died really young. He was only like 62, yeah. right? Yeah. He was working at the hardware store? Yes, in Bryceland. Yeah. I'll never forget when Marvin was born in November, and him and my husband went and picked him up in Bryceland and brought him over. And then on Sunday, they were going to dress up and here come to find out. Pa only had one shoe. They'd forgot the other one. All he had was his old shoes. He had to wear them. That's when Marvin was confirmed? Or Marvin, Marvin was, was born, yeah. Oh, when he was born. Mm -hmm. And you say you were Grandpa's pet? Yep. <laughs> yeah, tell Very. us that story again about... Uh, Oh, you mean going in the car? Uh-huh. Oh, Ma, she'd <laughs> always say I couldn't go nowhere with Dad. When Dad was going to go to Mason City, the first thing I did, I hurried and got ready, and laid in the back of the, of the front seat. When we got on the road, Dad said, you might as well get up. I know you're there. <laughs> yeah. And then you stayed overnight, and your mother oh. didn't even know you were with your dad? Oh, yeah. She, I suppose Pa told her, most likely. You know, but did you hear it from Grandma when you got home? No. But she always hollered, we just let her go in one ear and out the other. Yeah, he'd stick up for it. He just laughed. Now, which one of your brothers was the preacher all the time? Was that Truman? Truman? That was Truman. Every night we went to bed, he made this big paddle slope upstairs. Clarion and I always slept with Truman. We always did. We were three in each bed, and Pete and Joe in the other bed, you know. Every night he'd make a sermon on Norwegian, and we'd <laughs> laugh. <laughs> he'd be, give us this. Sermon every night. And how old was Truman? Oh, I suppose he was. It was before he was married. So he was a teenager. Well, I suppose he was maybe sixteen. Okay. Oh, he. When anything died, he was always the minister. So you, <laughs> you oh. bury all the animals when they died. Yeah. 
taught and obeyed everything. He was always the minister. Well, we must take after Uncle Truman because we always had funerals for our dead birds yes. and everything. <laughs> but, but, see, Truman talked Norwegian all the time, and I like Norwegian. Okay. I was the only one that went to church every third Sunday, and I'd walk over a mile, and everybody else in the family would laugh at me. Because the ser because it, the sermon was the, everything was in Norwegian. Everything, and I liked to sing, and I'd sing about every tenth word. <laughs> <laughs> Did Truman go with you? No, he was gone. He always worked. Oh. Yeah. And then he went in the service, and then he came home, and then he got a job over by Scarville. I can't remember the name of the people, but anyway, he used to help us out. He used to give Dad money all the time. Your dad ran a truck farm. Oh. Uh, it was a farm where you had vegetable garden. The rows were about this far apart, and we laid we had one row between our legs and did three at the time, laid on your hands and knees. Weed and all. Then Ma, she'd shuck the stuff and fix it at night, and I'd sell it the next day. Your dad would go places and sell right. it? Right, yeah. Uh, so like food truck. markets? Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ground cherry by the quartz. Now, where did he take it to sell the stuff? Just to the neighbors, all over. Kind of like a farmer's market. Right, then, okay. yep, yep. He'd sell it and I'd have it all ready for him the next day. Well, did, he, did he raise any crops too or have any dairy? Oh, yeah, or? we had a half section, 120 acres. Wow. No, three, 320 half section. And back in those days, it was all horses yeah. and mm -hmm. no tractors. Yeah, and we'd pick corn, and Clarine and I always went together. Ma and Opal. Dad would unload the stuff at noon. Boy, that so, was the days. We shot, went right behind the binder. Did you have like threshing bees at the. The house? what? Threshing bees or. How yeah, many? we did. We had about 18, 20, you know, thrashers. And it had them. My husband, well, your dad had it too. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me again what a thrashing machine does. What does it do? Separates the straw from the grain. The grain goes in the box and the straw goes out the hole and makes a big pile. Oh, and then okay. when you get a nice big pile, they take the mattress that you used and dump it and put all new mattress. That's what the mattress was. You're the, kidding! The mattress never, was stuffed with... Uh, with straw. We had straw. new straw every time. That's what oh. happened in South Dakota and they were rattled. Yeah, little yeah. Ooh, you're kidding. Ma, Ma she'd separate it, you know, and take a little bit at the time and fill. She made the mattress. She got a new mattress every fall. Yep, yep. New mattress <laughs> every fall. Were they comfortable? Very. Were we they thought scratchy? They were. We thought they were. Well, what, uh, wouldn't they be scratchy or did you cover, what did you cover them with? It was just like you make the covering for your pillow ticks, mm -hmm. you know. Same thing. Oh, same and, kind of fabric? Yeah. And, right, yeah. And then you just put a sheet over that. And that ain't all the way they used to dry the corn. You used to put it under the bed. Under the bed. That's the way they dried the in corn. The in, the, in the house. In the wintertime. they just thick of corn. Under and what was that corn used for? That's what Dad planted the next day. Oh, or the next corn. spring. Okay. That was yeah, your seed that's corn. the way seed corn. That's the way they dried it. You put the fruit in the corn. Where yep. did Grandpa and Grandma Peterson live before they moved to Bryceland? Armstrong. Yeah, they lived in Armstrong. Was that in town or in the country? It was, well, Armstrong was just a small town, you know, kind of like on the outskirts. That was Armstrong, Minnesota, right? Right. West Albert Lee. Uh, so where, is that where their farm originally was, or? Well, yeah. When Before we were little, that, wasn't it Lake Mills? Because all your kids were born mostly around I Lake Mills. I was born in Lake Mills. Yeah. And then when, when I was five years old, we took the train from Scarville, or from Lake Mills to Scarville. That's the only time I ever rode the train. train. From Lake Mills to Scarville? <laughs> when Lake you moved? Mills, yep, yep. <laughs> from Lake Mills to Scarville. The only time I ever rode in the train. I was five years old. And how far and, was that? How many miles? Uh, maybe ten. Okay. <laughs> maybe ten. And then Pa, he picked us up. <coughs> Because they didn't go 100 miles an hour. No. no. Now, when you lived in Scarville, we didn't live in Scarville. We lived west of Scarville, three miles. And <laughs> oh, in the country. Yeah, Vinji. Oh, Vinji. Okay. We lived there 17 years. 